We've had some clouds, we've had some early rain, and it's just been a gray day across the area, but those clouds are about to break up. We don't have any precipitation on the board. The radar's nice and quiet. The clouds are still hanging in there, but chipping away just to our north. Now, at the airport, we do have overcast skies and 41 degrees. There's a little bit of a breeze giving us a little bit of a wind chill. Those winds 5 to 10 miles per hour to the west, giving us a feels like or wind chill temperature of 37. Now, our actual temperatures are generally around 40 degrees. You get 40 Butler, 41 Cranberry, Pittsburgh, Washington, Waynesburg, then 40. By the time you get into Morgantown, those low to mid 40s extend back into Connellsville and Greensburg. And then some 30s, where those uh, skies have cleared out already in spots like Newcastle, Beaver Falls, up into Franklin, Youngstown. Those temperatures are down into the 30s. So it's a quick drop once those clouds actually clear out of here. Think of it like the blanket getting taken off in the middle of the night. It gets cold and quick, and that's what's happening here in Pittsburgh. Now, high temperatures over the next several days, cold is not a way to describe them. We're actually getting temperatures above average. A typical temp this time of year, 50. Tomorrow, upper 50s. Thursday and Friday, 70s, and then into the weekend, we see a big plunge in those temperatures, almost to the tune of 30 degrees. High pressure has been clearing out those skies, but you can see it's not a giant area of high pressure. There's a lot, a lot of cloud cover already coming in behind it. So tonight into the wee morning hours of tomorrow are clear skies. Then the clouds come right back out in advance of this system. But we're going to get a few waves of these showers and storms moving in, and that's going to set us up for a very wet Thursday and Friday, even Wednesday evening added into that. So let's time this out with Futurecast so you know what you're dealing with, because I think on one of those 70-degree days, there's going to be a sliver of dry time, and we're going to help you plan around that because that is a prime time to get outside and enjoy. So we have the clouds. They're coming back tomorrow, 8 a.m., mostly cloudy skies around. The clouds with us through much of the day, but the rain, that won't be. That's not really coming into play until we get more towards 5, 6 o'clock. And then the rain comes in and it turns on. This is going to be heavy rain, some thunderstorms in here. This moves on, and I think by Thursday morning, we're dry. And we'll be dry until Thursday afternoon. And this is one of those 70 degree days. So we don't have to worry about rain until late afternoon and evening. Showers and thunderstorms scattered there. Those continue into Friday before the cold front brings those temperatures way down. So tonight about 30 degrees here in Pittsburgh. This with the clearing skies. Then tomorrow you're looking at a high of 58. This is with rain late. So most of the day dry. We're not concerned about precipitation here. And over the next several days, these temperatures, look at that, 70 for the first day of spring. Spring knows how to do it. 71 on Friday with scattered thunderstorms. And then into the weekend, low to mid 40s. There is some bright sunshine that comes with those colder temperatures, but it is going to be noticeably colder from open windows to the furnace this weekend. And with all this going on over the span of a few days, the KDK weather app is a great tool to help keep it sorted out. It has an interactive radar for the showers and storms, hour by hour forecast, and even alerts if they should be needed. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.